Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you record macros, they are attached to the workbook in which you create them by default. When a workbook that contains macros is open, the macros that are attached to it are available for use by all open workbooks. However, once you close the workbook to which the macros are attached, they are no longer available for use by other workbooks. To remedy this, Excel provides a personal macro workbook as a place to which you can store macros which you want to be universally accessible by all open workbooks on your computer. The personal macro workbook is a workbook that opens every time that you open Excel on your computer. However, it is also a hidden workbook so you do not normally see it and many people aren't even aware that it exists. However, you can store your macros here to make them available to all the open workbooks on your computer. Since the personal macro workbook is always open and always hidden, it's always usable by all other open workbooks on that machine. To save a macro into the personal macro workbook, you simply need to select personal macro workbook from the store macro in drop-down that's available in the record macro dialog box. Then the macro that you record will be stored within that workbook. Now if you click the unhide button that appears within the window button group on the view tab within the ribbon, you will then see the unhide dialog box. Note that you must have saved at least one macro to the personal macro workbook before you can see the unhide dialog box. To unhide the personal macro workbook, select the personal file and then click the OK button. You'll then see the personal macro workbook appear. You can then edit or delete any macros that are saved to this workbook by using the macro dialog box within this workbook. Now when you're finished editing or deleting any macros that you have saved to the personal macro workbook, make sure that you click the hide button in the window button group on the view tab in the ribbon to hide the personal macro workbook again. Always remember to hide the personal macro workbook when you're done editing or deleting its macros to ensure that the workbook doesn't get deleted accidentally. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.